Good evening, everyone. This is Shashwat Pratyush, and today I am going to discuss the two questions from the IUK examination that was held in the previous year. The first question that we are going to discuss is question number five from the examination, and question asked that we have to find the smallest positive integer m such that m square plus m plus one whole square till m plus ten whole square is equals to square of a number n. where n is a positive integer so the concept that we should know in this question is summation of series the first summation that we should know is sum of first and natural numbers that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n gives us n into n plus 1 upon 2 And sum of square of first and natural number, that is one square plus two square plus three square, till n square gives us n into n plus one into two n plus one upon six. For basic knowledge, we can also know that the sum of cube of first and natural number is n into n plus one. Upon two, whole square. It will not be used in the question. It is just for our basic information. So now let's get back to the question. The question was m square plus m plus one whole square, which can be written as m square plus two m plus one square till m square plus two into ten into m plus ten square. now this number can be written as 11 times m square we have 11 numbers here and it is 11 times m square plus if we take 2m common we will get 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 10 and at last we have 1 square plus 2 square till 10 square now we have already learned that the sum of first and natural numbers is n into n plus 1 upon 2 and here the value of n is 10 so we will put it in the formula and we get 10 into 11 upon 2 plus sum of first and natural number square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6 and here the value of n is 10 so we will get 10 into 11 into 21 upon 6 with 6 we can cut it 7 times And this five times. If we take eleven common, we get m square plus ten m plus thirty five, which is equals to a square of a number n. So we see that here we have eleven. So in this quantity also, we should have eleven if we need a square of a number n, and the rest quantity that we have should also be a square. so we can say that this quantity should be equivalent to 11k square now let's move on to the next page we had 11 times m square plus 10m plus 35 is equals to n square and we got that this quantity should be equivalent to 11 times k square so this implies M square plus ten m plus thirty five is equals to eleven times k square. We can also write the left hand side as m plus five whole square plus ten. Now, if we add one and subtract one and move that eleven to the right hand side, we get m plus five. Whole square minus one is equals to eleven times k square minus one, and a square minus b square we get it as m plus four into m plus six, eleven times k square minus one. Now here we have numbers with a difference of two between them. There are two numbers who have difference of two between them, so both of them can't be the multiple of eleven. we need one number to be the multiple of 11 for the right hand quantity to be equivalent to the left hand quantity 
So one of them will be a multiple of 11 as both of them can't be the multiple of 11 as if M plus four is a multiple of 11, then the next number that will be the multiple of 11 will be M plus four plus 11, which will be M plus 15 and not M plus six. So we can say that here M will be equals to 11 P minus four or 11 P minus six. From here, we get M to be equal to for P equals to one. We have the value of M as seven or five for M equals to two. We have 18 or 16. Now the question that we had our equation one, let's say it as equation one. If we put the value of M, we will get N here. So for M equals to five, we have 11 times five square plus 50 plus 35 is equals to. It can also be written as for simplification, we can write M square plus 10 M plus 35 as 11 times M plus five whole square plus 10. So here, if we put five, we will get 11 times 100 plus 10, which is equals to 11 square into 10, which is not equivalent to square of a integer. Let's move on to the next page, please. The quantities of M that were left are M equal to seven, 16, 18, and so on. Now, for M equals to seven, we will get 11 times M plus five whole square plus 10 equal to 11 times 144 plus 10, which is 11 square into 14, which is also not a square of a number N. For M equals to 16, we have 11 times 21 square plus 10, which is 11 times 441 plus 10, which is equivalent to 11 square into 41, which is not a square of an integer. For M equals to 18, we see that we get 11 times 23 square plus 10, which is equal to 11 times 529 plus 10, which is equals to 11 square into seven square, which is square of a integer n for n equals to 77. And we see that n is equals to 77 for our value of m 18, which is the least value that we got. So n plus m is equals to 95 is our answer. Thank you.